Aquarius, hi. So uh, this is going to be a reading for July 6th through the 12th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll uh, close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. Uh, let's see. Overall energy for the reading, the uh, High Priestess. Um, there's a lot of universal activity around you. So this could be just you getting more in tune with your intuition. It could it could also talk about the non-talking part in a, in a um, connection here. But I see it a little deeper than that, but we'll see. Um, in your recent past, you get the Six of Wands, the Two of Cups, and the Five of Cups. All right, so something, you and another person here, came together in love. It was going marvelous here with the Six of Wands. And then it turned into sadness, uh, sorrow. So something went south there, for sure. Um, in your current situation, you get the Hermit, the Ten of Cups, and the Judgment card. You need to make a decision here. And um, it involves your happiness. Um, there's a lot of thinking about things on your part. There's a lot of possibly even taking a break from the whole world. Just like everybody just shut the hell up. I need time for myself kind of thing. Um... So there's a lot of that going on because you, you're, you're thinking intensely about something that has the potential to make you happy. Um, in your immediate future, you get the Queen of Swords, the Seven of Wands, and the Star. And you will be going for it. This is you, the, the Star. That's your energy. It's also somebody that's making this wish. And then with the Queen of Swords here, this is telling me that you're not only making a wish, you're taking action to fulfill it, pretty much. However... You're going to be standing in your own way a little bit. There's some... We do that. We do that. We all do that. Uh, we don't even realize it. We're like, no, if I want it, I'm going to go get it. What's going to stop me? You. Usually. So, um, let's see. Let's clarify. Let's do the High Priestess. The Page of Cups, the Five of Wands, and the Hermit. All right, so this is your conflict right now. Um, you want to confess your love. You want to open your heart to somebody. Uh, the Hermit appears here again, as in your current situation here, uh, to let me know that there's conflict here within you when it comes to that. What you feel inside is that you really, really want to open up and show how you truly feel. Everything on the outside is kind of stopping you, um, whatever the situation is outside of yourself. Um, so that, that creates a little bit of a conflict within you there. Let's, uh, let's see what, um, let's see what happened there in the past with that five of cups. The oldest trick in the book, huh? Somebody walked away here. And it created a lot of pain. Things were looking pretty stable. Things were looking pretty good. They were taken off in a good, stable direction. They might have been stable for quite some time. And somebody just like, um, hey, I'm going to be giving all this up. And I'm going to be walking away. Uh, could be you, could be them. But it created a sense of, oh my god, I've lost this. This is done. What the hell? And then you started um, going on this path of what do I do? Because I still have feelings here. How do I fix this? How do I go and tell them? How? How? Uh, 
Um, let's see the Hermit in the current situation. The Strength card is the Knight of Cups and the King of Pentacles. You're trying to build up your courage here to do that, to, to do exactly what I said earlier, to express how you truly feel. Um, again, the Knight of Cups shows up. This is love. Somebody still has love here. Somebody still wants to express this to the other person. Um, kind of seeing this as being you, of course, it could be reversed. Keep in mind, these are general. It could be them that are doing that. But somebody is really, really deeply thinking about doing this. Let's clarify the Ten of Cups in the current situation. Yeah, somebody's manifesting like crazy. Uh, this, they want lifelong commitment here with the other person. It's not just one of those things where, oh my God, you left me, I want you back, but I don't know if, you know, I want you back for life. But somebody here wants somebody else for life in a very long-term stable commitment. They feel a lot of love, a lot of passion. So whoever's doing that is trying to manifest that into their life here. Um, let's clarify the judgment card in your current situation. Three of Wands, the Hangman, and the Six of Wands again. Interesting something within you if this is you manifesting all of this and still wanting all of this something within you is kind of telling you it's gonna happen it, it's like you're you're it's not that you're positive you're sure it's gonna happen eventually um somewhere deep down within you and just the thought of it makes you feel really really good but i'm seeing this understanding that maybe it's time to not really take action right now because things are gonna get together and be be brought together by the universe you know so there's there's a deep understanding to this even though somebody really really wants this they're not going to be uh led by their emotions they have a deeper understanding than that uh let's do the queen of swords in the immediate future someone's gonna break the silence and i feel like it's you uh the tower the uh high priestess and the star again your energy shows up like crazy here somebody's gonna be like i need to say something i need to speak my mind i need to speak my truth so this does come off as being you it could be them still um let's do the uh seven of wands in the immediate future the seven of cups the devil and the nine of pentacles it's like because somebody can't really make up their mind not not even that this person knows who they want but they're kind of fooling themselves into thinking, no, nah, I can, you know, I can go with this option or this option or this one or this one. Um, that's why the devil shows up here with the seven of cups and the seven of wands, which is telling me that this person actually knows who they want and what they want. They're going against it by falling prey to a little bit of, eh, let me think about it. Um, maybe that, or maybe that, or maybe, when the answer is within them, they, they already know who they want. And whoever's doing that, I feel like, um, in the end is going to lose all options. You know, um, so it might come back to bite them in the, um, you know, yeah, that's what it looks like like if you think that's how it presents itself so if you think you don't know what you want the universe will show you well then you get nothing how about that until you actually go within and see that you do know what you want um let's clarify the star in the immediate future the 
king of wands, the king of swords, and the page of wands. Interesting. So whoever this is that you're dealing with, they got a little bit of a uh, hold on you. Um, they they kind of intimidate you there. There there's there's something that they're doing to your energy. You're showing up as the king of wands. You're acting as a page of wands. Um, it's actually the whole energy that the two of you are bringing to the table. So you are better than what you're manifesting to each other, what you're presenting to each other. And um, you're showing off the synergy of not knowing any better or something, something about it where you could do so much better, the both of you. But you bring this craziness from inside of each other uh, that when you get face to face, it's like, uh, mm, mm, uh, mm, you know, um, very interesting. So that's something that maybe you should look into. Because if one of you changes that energy, it, it'll change the whole dynamic there. But it feels like a fear of saying what you truly feel because you'll hurt the other person or will then hurt yourself by not being honest. How about that? Um, <clears throat> you know, so yeah, I mean, it does look like you two will break the silence and come face to face again. Just work on those aspects a little bit uh, until you do of being honest with yourself. If they get hurt, it's their business. It's their way of interpreting it. It's your truth in the end, right? Uh, let's see what the universe has. The Three of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups. <clears throat> there is, I mean, the, the door is opening up for this brand new energy, uh, for this connection, for this partnership, to, to, to grab this brand new beginning in love. I don't know if you will. We do have free will, so most of the times we miss this little doors opening up for us, but it doesn't mean that they're gone for good. It, it just means that it's here now um now or in the immediate future um for an opportunity to 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 be jumped on if you want if they want if it comes to fruition so that's what i have for you aquarius uh hope this helped and i'll see you next time bye